of law join crime chronicles as we delve into the story behind the headlines don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos we upload the Albanian Mafia. The Albanian Mafia, also known as the Albanian Organized Crime Syndicates, is one of the most formidable and expansive criminal networks in Europe and has considerable influence internationally. This group has a reputation for being particularly aggressive and is known for its involvement in a wide range of criminal activities. Originating from Albania, these organized crime groups expanded during the 1990s, after the collapse of communism in Eastern Europe. The social and economic turmoil that followed provided fertile ground for the Mafia's growth. The Albanian Mafia capitalized on the lack of strong governmental structures and the sudden openness of borders to establish smuggling routes. They are particularly known for trafficking in drugs, weapons, and human beings, as well as for money laundering and extortion. The Mafia is divided into various clans, each controlling different territories or aspects of their criminal enterprises. In Western Europe and beyond, the Albanian Mafia has made significant inroads into the drug market, particularly with the trafficking of cocaine and heroin. Their strategic location between the Middle East and Europe makes them pivotal in the heroin trade, while their maritime skills facilitate cocaine trafficking from Latin America into Europe. Efforts to combat the Albanian Mafia have been challenging due to their deep-rooted organization and their propensity for violence. Law enforcement agencies across Europe have noted the Mafia's adaptability and sophistication in evading detection and prosecution. This has necessitated international cooperation and increasingly sophisticated strategies to dismantle their operations. Despite these efforts, the Albanian Mafia remains a potent force in the landscape of global organized crime, Crips and Bloods. The Crips and the Bloods are two of the most infamous street gangs in the United States, both originating from Los Angeles, California in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The Crips were founded first in 1969 by Raymond Washington and Stanley Tukey Williams, aiming to provide protection against surrounding gangs. Their distinctive blue attire became a symbol of their identity. The formation of the Bloods followed in response during the early 1970s as smaller gangs united to counter the Crip Alliance. They chose red as their color, creating a visual distinction that became deeply iconic. The rivalry between the Crips and the Bloods escalated over the decades into a notorious and bloody conflict marked by territorial disputes and retaliatory violence. This feud has contributed significantly to gang culture and violence, particularly in urban areas across the United States. Both gangs have become emblematic of the broader issues of gang violence and the socioeconomic conditions that foster such groups. Members typically join these gangs seeking community, identity, and protection, but often find themselves trapped in a cycle of violence and criminal activity. Despite these efforts, the legacy and impact of the Crips and Bloods endure, illustrating the challenging road towards resolving gang violence and its root causes. The Sereños the Sureños, meaning Southerners in Spanish, are a notorious confederation of Mexican-American street gangs with roots tracing back to Southern California. They originated in the 1960s and 1970s as a result of Southern-based Hispanic gangs pledging their allegiance to the Mexican Mafia, a dominant force within the California prison system. The Sureños are easily recognizable by their blue attire, which symbolizes their affiliation and contrasts sharply with the red worn by their rivals, the Norteños or Northerners. The Sureños have a significant presence, not just in California but also throughout the United States. Their activities are diverse, encompassing drug trafficking, murder, human smuggling, and other forms of organized crime. These gangs operate under a strict code that emphasizes loyalty to the Mexican Mafia, and their organizational structure allows them to carry out coordinated criminal activities across various regions. Law enforcement agencies have found the Sereños challenging to dismantle due to their decentralized structure and the deep loyalty among members. Efforts to curb their influence include multi-agency raids and community intervention programs aimed at deterring youth from gang involvement. Despite these efforts, the Sureños continue to expand, posing persistent challenges to communities and law enforcement alike. The Yakuza The Yakuza are a powerful and secretive organized crime syndicate in Japan, known for their strict codes of conduct and their deep roots in Japanese society. Originating in the 17th century, the Yakuza evolved from two classes of societal outcasts, the Tekiya, 
or street peddlers, and the bakuto, or gamblers. Over centuries, these groups formed larger organized crime syndicates, known today as the Yakuza. The Yakuza are structured similarly to a traditional Japanese family, with a strict hierarchical system led by a boss known as the Oyabun, to whom all members show absolute loyalty and respect. Members are expected to follow the code of Jingi, which emphasizes honor, duty, and righteousness. Rituals such as yubitsume, or finger shortening, serve as acts of penance or apology within this strict moral framework. The Yakuza engage in a variety of criminal activities, including gambling, drug trafficking, loan sharking, and extortion. They are also involved in legitimate businesses and have been known to participate in relief efforts during natural disasters, which complicates public perceptions of them. In recent decades, the Japanese government has implemented strict anti-Yakuza laws that aim to weaken their power by restricting their activities and cutting off their economic flows. These measures have resulted in a decline in Yakuza membership and activities, but they remain a significant presence in Japan. Despite these efforts, the Yakuza's influence in both the criminal underworld and legitimate enterprises continues to be a complex challenge for Japanese society. And so, we close another chapter in the dark annals of crime. But remember, the story never truly ends. It only pauses, waiting for justice, for closure, or perhaps a new beginning. Thank you for joining us at Crime Chronic, where we delve deep into the shadows to bring light to the truth. The mysteries continue, and so does our quest. Stay vigilant, stay curious, and above all, stay safe. For more tales from the cryptic corners of crime, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon for notifications, and share with those who dare to look beyond the surface. Have insights or theories of your own? Dive into the comments below. Your perspective could shine a light on the darkest of mysteries.